Okay, good good day, good people. Let's look at this uh, problem and apply um, that which we spoke about when coming to energies. A steel ball with a mass of 15 kg starts uh, from rest and rolls. Now that gives you the picture without friction 20 meter down the slope. Now you are given the picture that you are having the ball on the slope. It is up there and the mass of this it is 15 kgs of this ball it is 15 kgs 15 kgs ne? it is rolling down the slope from the given information and we are told that the displacement from here to up the slope or up the slope to down the slope from let's mark this one as our a to b our a to b we are given the 20 meters the displacement is 20 meters then we don't know what is height we don't know the value of height we don't know the value of height then we are given the slope the slope we are given one is to 30. now let us therefore calculate our height in calculating our height we know that the slope it is given as slope slope it is given as 1 is to 30 yeah. then we know what is sine theta sine theta we know that sine theta it is opposite over hypotenuse now let's write it as 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 uh, height over s s for hypotenuse yeah? it is opposite over s let's write this let's denote this as our s for displacement the distance from a to b now what is our our slope our slope it is 1 over 30 that's what we will write here sine 30 sine theta equals to sine theta it is one the same thing as 1 over 30 now 1 over 30 that would be your sine theta equals to opposite height over your displacement your displacement it is what it is 20 we are looking for height height would be 20 your height would be 20 divide by 30 then your answer would be 0 comma 6 6 7 meters or you can say you can just say height equals to your displacement uh, your displacement it is 20 divided by 30 then you get your answer 0 0.667 meters yeah. Now, this that we did here, it is one the same thing as that one. All right. We've managed to calculate the height. Now, let's look at the first question. What is it that they want us to calculate here? The loss in potential energy when, when it has rolled up. Now, let me make this emphasis. When coming to energies, we will always apply uh, con uh, the law of conservation of energy. Uh, the law of conservation of energy simply says uh, you can't destroy nor create you can only transfer what the energy into another form meaning EP equals to EK this is the law of conservation of energy I just want to make that emphasis that you can calculate EK using everything that has to do with EP you can calculate EP using everything that has to do with ek that is the law of conservation of energy when you are calculating this with everything that has to do with another energy you are applying the law of conservation of what of energy please don't forget that now the loss in potential energy when it has rolled down now let's make the emphasis ek at b it is at its maximum when ek when the ball start rolling up, you can tell that EK, it will start 
to do what to lose energy but ep will start to gain energy in this case in this case the steel ball it's on top of what of the incline it that means ep here it is at its maximum ep it is maximum ep it is maximum i'll write m there for maximum now as this ball will be rolling down you'd realize that ep will become smaller and smaller or rather it will lose energy as ek does what gains energy energy what is the high day it is 0 0.667 now if this ball can roll you can tell that let's say it rolls to somewhere here you can tell that the energy day it's no longer what as the same as on on the foot on the top of the incline why there's a loss between this point and that point there's a loss of energy there's what the loss of energy then you can therefore calculate uh, energy gain using what everything that has to do with what calculating ek using everything that has to do with what with epy because ek it's gaining what uh, energy but let us look at this one the loss in potential energy when it has rolled five meters down now check this let's say th uh, the five meters it is somewhere here now this ball has rolled to this point but from this we don't know the height we don't know the height this height we don't know it we therefore have to calculate this height but the only thing we know is that this ball has rolled five meters now in calculating the height would say height equals to five meters as much as we did when we were calculating this height remember this height we calculated it and we got uh, this answer here 0 0.667 done now in this case we got five divided by 30 to get the height and how do we interpret it we would say for every five meter the height is five divided by 30 for every five meter the height it is zero comma one six seven now we know the height there now how do you interpret it for every five meter the height it is what it is zero point one six seven now how many fives how many how many how many times does five goes into 20 it goes how many times it goes four times 20 divided by 5 it goes four times 4 multiplied by 0 0.167 4 multiplied by 0 0.167 you will realize that it will give you this value it will give you 0 0.667 equals to there it goes 0 0.667 now now you know how to interpret the slope now let's calculate the energy loss there ep equals to m g h what is our mass our mass it is given as 15 multiplied by 9 comma 8 multiplied by height which height this height that we have calculated it is 0 comma 167 and your answer would be 15 multiplied by 9,8 multiplied by 0 0.967. Your answer it is 24,5. 24, 24,5 joules. Now we've managed to calculate the first answer there. Right. Now let us look at the second one. Let us look at number P. The gain in kinetic energy at the end of the 20 meter downwards now in calculating the gain of energy like i said if this one rolls to the bottom if this ball has rolled to the bottom of the incline we will apply the law of conservation of energy we will apply this formula meaning we will be calculating ek with everything that has to do with what with ep why we don't have v here we don't have v velocity we don't have it but now we can apply the law of conservation of energy and calculate the ek with everything that has to do with what with ep let us go ahead and calculate it ek ek let's wipe this thing and write it nicely 
EK equals to EP equals to EP yeah. now EK equals to mass multiplied by gravitational force multiplied by what by height right but by the way you can tell why do we have to use uh, uh, EP the ball has traveled from the top of the incline going down it has traveled 20 meters per second you can tell now you can tell yeah, the mass it is 15 multiplied by 9,8 9,8 multiplied by height. Height, it is 0, 0,667. Right. Remember, we are looking for energy where? Here, at the bottom. Now, for us to be able to calculate the energy there, now we have to use the whole height from there to there. We must use the whole height. Hence, I've used 0. Uh, six six seven. The height of the whole slope there. Now it is fifteen multiplied by nine comma eight multiplied by zero point six six seven. Then our answer it is ninety eight joules. Ninety eight joules. Ninety eight joules. Right. This is what we have there. Now we've now calculated the 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 maximum energy at the foot of the incline now let's look at um, the last question there All right they are saying the speed of the ball when it has rolled 20 meters now in calculating this one we will as well use what the law of conservation of energy EP right equals to EK okay equals to EK now remember we, we 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 manipulated and we ended ourselves with this formula right uh, 2 g h square root on the first part remember i've manipulated and landed with that formula that's the formula that i'll be using to calculate uh because this um, from the given data this formula suits that which i'm given on what on the data then the height there would be 0 0.667 the data suits this formula but on other instances you will use the law the formulas of laws of motion to calculate your v it will depend on the given information but in this case this formula suits our data right 0 0.667 by all square root right i get my answer as my answer as 3 comma 91 ah, it is 3 comma 6 not uh, it is 3,615. 3,616. We'll round it off. Meters uh, per second. Now we know the velocity. We know the speed at which this ball was rolling from the top of the incline to the foot of the incline. Now let's prove if, if our kinetic energy it is 90. Eight, using now the velocity that we have calculated now we are just proving yeah ek equals to 1 over 2 multiply by mass our mass it is 15 yeah multiply by 3 comma 6 1 6 squared we are just proving if we will get uh, that 98 0 0.5 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 3.616 squared our answer it is 98 now the 
you can tell that the fact that we are getting the same answer the fact that we are getting the same answer that gives you the picture that the law of conservation of energy has been applied ek equals to ep ep equals to ek this is how you apply uh, the law of moment uh, the law of conservation of energy thank you good people i will drop other videos as well from van ransberg textbook thank you